at all these vampires! What is this? He's stuck in a corner. This could be so big for us. 20, 25's across the board. There's an alpha wolf. That's one shot. There's a player. Already very low health. Yes, inside. That player's gonna die to the sunlight. I don't think we have to do very much more to finish this player. He grabbed and dipped! He's having a rat! Let's Bane. go! Look at his level! Let's he's go! Going up on the spot, he's level 20! Oh level my goodness, he clicked take all! And he hits the horse! No way! Man. He gets him off the horse and he's leading him through the mobs. This could be huge if Bane gets away here. They are gonna run into each other. Sky T's gonna call for his teammate. And just like that, T's guy shows up. Double wide in a lot of trouble now with those mobs on his back. The bombs popping off as well. He managed to clear the frost bats. We have tier four two, teams Howard. to tier two! Into the tournament. And here comes the fight! Let's go! Malt Mog immediately mounting up on the horse. Slinky managing to steal Slinky the horse mounting. as well. Is he gonna sneak off? I'm There's two players on the cliff. Everyone left! I agree with it, 100%. The outplays, the PvPs, the strategies, and counter strategies are in effect now. Let it loose in the chat, guys. We are crushing this tournament. He left his gate open. Oh no, we should have went in. We could have jumped off the ledge. I need it all. I need everything. So here we're gonna have to kill the immortal if we want to become the immortal clan. The immortals at 20. We can only lose eight more people. Let's go! Let's go! Your North American Open Day 2! Game two champion is Strange Religion! We got him! He's in the rat trap! There's nowhere to go! Let's go! Oh, here it comes. This is looking good for us. If you build on second tiers of the hilltop, what do you expect? Let's go! Everyone just died! Let's go! Quincy at 75. Got chaos while he's coming at me left and right. There's no way to outplay this many people. Look at this! The predict! A young god has entered the arena. Let's go! The absolute prediction. Can someone clip that? Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome! Good afternoon, vampires. This is going to be another V Rising stream today. We're gonna keep it a little bit short though, because I got a bit of a bit of a Matt. cough. Madness <laughs> and stupidity. I got the black lungs pop. But we're going for our first ever world record speed run into Iron and Hollow Fang. A lot of you have been asking for this in the YouTube comments, complimenting and constructively criticizing in Discord and of course Twitch. Also, a huge shout out for that sub Hydro. That is amazing. Um, beautifully played, much appreciated. And so we have decided, especially lately, I don't know if any of you pay attention to Reddit, but we've had quite a few players competing, right? We set the initial world record speed run on Quincy for 30 minutes and 13 seconds, and it was a bit slow. We could have actually shaved off quite a bit of time on that speed run. And lately, now players are, of course, starting to get more competitive. And so we just saw yesterday morning on Reddit, someone posted a 28, 30 second, excuse me, 28 minutes and 30 second Quincy kill, picking up a new world record. This morning, we have a 26 minute and 17 second world record Quincy kill. These are amazing times. They're getting faster and faster. Some of these are without horse lording as well. So you have to give them credit for fighting the bosses on foot because we know that horse nerf is coming. It's got to be coming. The horse lord reign is ending. And so we're still going to be employing those strategies today. Of course, we got to go with the meta and we got to keep practicing with the horse while the horse is relevant. And so, um, but what we realized is that the, the speed run for Quincy, as we've seen in the past couple tournaments, is actually totally irrelevant because it doesn't matter how fast you kill Quincy. Although you do get the ultimate and the chaos barrier, which are fantastic tools in PVP, you still won't have iron, right? How far are you from iron at that point? Do you go to the tier three Silverlight Hills and go into Brighthaven docks and fight barrels and chests and crates to get iron ingots? Or do you go into the iron mine and make an entire row of furnaces 
So these are things that have yet to be tested. We're just theory crafting. Some players have their own strategies that they aren't sharing, but every single tournament, we're seeing new and improved strategies and more interesting and diverse things. And this is the announcement part of the stream this Saturday, June the 11th, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. We've got a $200 duos cash cup for the first time ever. This is going to be a non-merciless cash cup. So come on out, everyone, and join us for that. Enjoy it. It's going to be highly competitive, very interesting. The advertisement for that is coming and will be posted on YouTube, of course, as always, later today. And without further ado, let's dive into this. So I do have a game plan in mind here. I think we're going to go Alpha Wolf to Keeley. Then we're going to get a horse and put our base down next to Iron Mine or somewhere around Tier 2, maybe even next to Beatrice. And then we're going to come back to Tier 1 and kill Clive. We have to get Merciless Copper. And then we need to get iron. We need to get the iron cooking and then kill Beatrice and get the recipe to make looms, right, for our hollow fang set. And then we need to, after we get our iron weapon, we have to go out and gather cotton and get that on the loom. So in my mind, we need a lot of copper, right? You need 60 copper ore per furnace and 12 copper ingots per loom. So we want to ideally have probably six to eight furnaces and six to eight looms to turn this stuff out. So I'm, I'm really going to be trying here for about a two hour, maybe two and a half hour speed run to iron and cotton. We can't have any deaths and we got to be playing cracked. So I've got my Masha T here. We're boosted on some energy. And here we go with the Rat Trap world record speed run attempt number one into iron and hollow fang. Thank you all for tuning in. We are about to be popping off. We've got the live split up and running in the bottom left with Tutorial, Alpha Wolf, Keeley, Workshop, which is our base, Clive, Quincy, Beatrice, and then our Iron Weapon. I don't know what the exact correct play is. This is our first time running past Quincy, right? And as we know, every single tournament, it doesn't matter how fast you speed run, anything can change. There's gonna be a lot of PVP and a lot of crazy stuff going on within the game world. Like we saw in the duos tournament, this $300 cash cup, which is still going on. You guys can still join the $300 cash cup. Today is day six, and tomorrow will be the last day. It's never too late to catch up, catch players in their rat trap and get their gear. And so, like we saw last tournament, they got stuck at Quincy for hours. It doesn't matter how fast you can speed run Quincy in a solo setting because when you get other players involved, their mentality changes your play style, right? We have the rats. We have the players who will sit at the boss like I did yesterday at level three, and I will sit there for 25 minutes because I love it. I love the combat and the thrill of battle. It calls to me. It's actually really hard for me to sit down right now and do an iron speed run because I don't want to play alone. <laughs> I, want, I want the chaos. I want the rat straps and the strategies and all that good stuff, but uh, we gotta get better, and a lot of people have been asking for it, so let's go ahead and get this party started. So we got So Rat Strange, world record. Nice random, sweet bun, and we're off to the races. Let me drink a little bit more tea here. All right, perfect run incoming. The minute we're out of this coffin, it begins. All right, we need to be using the space bar out of our mind here, right? We're just going to hold space bar down all the way until we get to Alpha Wolf. So I know we need some bone for our gear, and we know, I know we need leather, and then we need extra bones in order to craft all of our tools. So we're probably going to be killing all these skeletons in the tutorial as fast as we can, and then probably killing the two outside tutorial as well. So there's so much theory crafting going on here, and I feel like I'm really good at this game, but I also feel like any player could potentially beat me. And it's beautiful to see players setting these world records and really diving into some new and improved strategies. We're doing pretty good so far. Look at that iframe on the spacebar. You can literally, they can attack you while you push spacebar and you just take it. It doesn't even matter. Oh, 
Oh, we should be actually killing these enemies next to plants and trees. actually don't know how many salves we need. I'm so used to building and crafting an entire set of salves, but I, I don't feel like we actually need that many salves. I'm also not sure exactly how much bone we need, so these are things that we would have to write down to prepare for in the future. Obviously, I already have a lot of knowledge just from my sheer amount of playtime, and so I, I know already that we're going to need a lot of copper, right? We're going to have to hit copper mine, I think, twice, full clearing the copper nodes in order to get all of those copper ore and bars. I'm actually gonna skip those skeletons here. Um, I feel like we have enough, and also most of these monsters are going to be dropping um, some, some bones as well, so we kinda can double up on bones. Uh, very slow there with uh, the tutorial just pushing it. We should have been out probably at two minutes 10, and that's gonna happen as well. I'm, I'm not used to, uh, I'm not used to speed running. And I'm also not used to live split, but I feel like that's a pretty fast time in any case. Two and a half minutes there. Seems fine. Again, we want to be trying to kill monsters next to resources so we can double gather. That should be the rest of our sets. I don't, I'm going to try to just keep my health way up and actually never craft any salves or use any. That way we can save all our materials for other things. So next we'll get the axe, and then we don't actually want to grab anything with the axe. We're not going to want to kill trees. A, a perfect run here, in my opinion, would be using Alpha Wolf, right? When Alpha Wolf dies, it's going to explode, and we're going to try to pull Alpha Wolf into a bunch of trees and rocks, and that will auto-complete that part of the tutorial for us. Hopefully we get really lucky, as we saw yesterday on the 6-8 fresh wipe, excuse me, fresh wipe for the Enclave, I actually came across a dead alpha wolf that was on the ground, which I had never seen before. Gorswine had soloed alpha wolf and allowed us to pick that up, which was really crazy. Um, also, something I've never done before, but maybe we can't. A good idea here might actually be um, to craft a spear in order to help us kill alpha wolf, but we'd actually have to stop to cut trees down and then probably kill rocks. So I'm gonna skip that part. We also do wanna try to spend less time gathering if we can help it. So we're going to be actually trying to pick up a lot of RNG planks from different areas. We also need to kill Rufus just to get the Berserk to allow us to get more trees and wood faster. We're going to need a lot of planks to build all those furnaces. So here I'm going to be trying to make the Alpha Wolf fight uh, just a little bit faster, right? So we're going to attack some bandits. And we know there's a pack of three bandits coming as well. actually getting played by we're getting outplayed by alpha wolf right now oh that was close now he's stunned for a little bit this is perfect we'll get some damage in here there's a 24 percent but we're not gonna have time to actually drink that counter he's stunned again i feel like that was actually a really 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 well played alpha wolf so here we are going to pull alpha wolf back into this cluster of trees right we want him to die right about where we're at right now here he comes let's get him in here that is going to be a lot of free lumber and it's going to complete that quest for us like we mentioned before probably gonna have to drink a little bit of our uh, our blood here to heal but the whole point of this run is going to be to never die, right? We cannot die on this run. It won't, I guess it wouldn't matter that much. Obviously, we would just lose a little bit of time. But ideally, you're not going to want to die on a solo speed run. You're also going to want to rarely get hit. And now we're off to Keeley. 
I feel like Keeley is the play here. Also, fighting the bandits around Keeley might give us the opportunity to pick up a bandit weapon. We definitely want the bandit axes, right? The woodcutting axes is going to give us huge damage on trees, which will allow us to gather a lot faster. Um, and like I said before, we're going to need a lot of planks. So we are going to take a little, a little kind of maybe not shortcut, but we're going to look here for chests in order to grab for planks and wool and chorus thread and stuff of that nature in order to make Night Stalker, but we're actually having a bad RNG here. There's not a single chest nearby. There's actually a golden chest there and we want the gems, right? We need gems to get into Merciless Copper. So we are gonna take a small, a small like step away from the norm here in order to grab this golden chest. Also a worker 11%, we're gonna want that. We're gonna need that to get the planks going and to, uh, to get some stone and wood. And later when we get the horse, there's lumberjack axes. That is actually absolutely insane RNG there. Look, at we're already level 14. I think we can actually gather copper at this point, especially if we put that first base down. Picking up a gem, some sulfur, and some, uh, what else we get? Gems, sulfur, a lot of chorus thread there. So this, here's another chest. So this is actually becoming a magnificent RNG run for us. This is the kind of star we're looking for. There's some whetstones, cloth as well. We have a lot of great drops here. This is what we would want to see for a tournament. We're just like, oh, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to split Alpha Wolf, of course. Let's go. <laughs> Bottom tier world record runner, but it, really the splits don't matter. The main split is, of course, going to be getting into the Iron and the Hollow Fang. And so we'll be able to see very clearly what that is. I also feel like, I feel like all of the bosses are horse, horse lordable. So even if we come across Lydia... Uh, that's going to be a bunch of free stuff right there from the man trap. You love to see that as well. Um, I think we're going to... What was I going to say? If we saw Lydia, I don't think we would need that. So Quincy, Beatrice, and Clive are all horse lordable. So I don't, I don't think we would fight any of those bosses on the ground. I even think that Keeley um, is potentially horse lordable. So I don't even know if it's the right play here to fight her on the ground or to fight her on a horse, but uh, either way, we're gonna go ahead and bring out all of these animals, just cause some chaos, get some of these ads uh, um, taken care of. That could be bad. Oof, we got lucky there, to be honest. Our counter was down. Now we gotta be careful here, especially with these net monsters. Let's just do a small little loop here. All right, we got two bears alive and most of the monsters on this side are dead. So we're gonna go ahead and kite back over here and hope these bears pick up some big damage. Another bear over here just putting in work. So all these tents should be kind of clear of monsters here in just a moment. There we go. We're getting a lot done right now with these bears. As long as as long as the bears go for Keeley, I always feel like I'm just like the primary target of any creature or boss on the map. Nice hits with the shadow bolts as well. She looks like she's gonna go back toward that bear. That's also gonna be a lot of hide, so we should be in our night stalker set fairly quickly. Oh, that was close. Almost predicted that. So far, I feel like we're making very, very good time. Obviously, if this was a tournament setting, we would have a 30 minute PVP protection timer. And so you could definitely get a lot done in that time period. Lumberjack axes were such a fantastic drop, especially that early. That was almost the first monster we came across that managed to drop those for us. This bear over here has decided to just take a nap and not help us in the least. How can he sleep through this? I can't see his health either, but uh, that might actually be worth hitting him just to see how much blood he has and whether or not it would be worth taking creature blood. That would be increased movement speed. So there we go. We're picking up a Keeley at about 10 or 11 minutes. So this creature is very low. 20% as well. We're going to go ahead and pick that up. 
That's going to be a movement speed, and then we're going to Alpha Wolf up to a horse and as well drop our base and iron, and that's going to allow us to get into maybe, depending on the amount of chorus thread we have, our Night Soccer set. So there is a reason for us to be killing these monsters, of course, because we want leather as a, as a drop, and then we definitely want to pick up chorus threads. Um, and also we get very lucky running the speed runs, right? Because we don't need to wall in our base or take any, you know, precautions. We can basically just play any way that we want. I think we should be good here. Yep, we're going to kill this. He's going to put up his shield in a second. Yeah, and we fight him in the back. We should be good to kill this monster as well. Hmm, good thing we missed. Unintentional miss there. So this is becoming a beautiful run. I already think that we have enough chorus thread for our first Night Stalker set. Also getting copper here. Let's see, okay, chorus thread 17. I think you need four, is it six leather and four chorus thread each? I think we're almost to our Night Stalker set. There's some as well. We'll also be picking up chorus thread at the copper mine. Here's another chest to the right. Um, and we'll pull out these animals to kill all these monsters at the gate. There we go. We're just getting tons and tons of drops. This is all theoretical, guys. So obviously, if you're going to be running this uh, this record yourself and trying to beat my world record, I think there's a lot of play here. And that's what makes this game so interesting to me is that there's going to be so many different strategies that are viable. And that's what I really love about this game is that, that the sheer amount of random things that can change your run and that can really affect your tournament are incredible to see. I'll, I'll pass on that that bear swipe. That's probably going to kill the shield monster there. Some copper on the ground here. We probably want to be killing these barrels and such as well. Some bones, some more pre-made leather. So this is going to get us into our armor set even sooner than we originally had hoped. More chorus thread, and uh, more chorus thread there. So this is just a great run. Did we loot? Yeah, we looted that. So we basically looted this whole area. Um, now I think 20. If it's four each, that's five pieces. Hopefully it's not six each. Even so, if we only get three fourths of the Night Stalker set, that's already going to be a massive pickup. So now we are on the way to dropping our base, which we're gonna do up by the horse. That way we're close to iron mine, right? So we're gonna be picking up all the iron here as we speed run into iron and putting that in the furnaces. And we're just gonna be making runs back and forth between probably iron and copper mine. So we have an idea of what we wanna do. And so far I feel like it's working out pretty good. It would be incredible if we get Clive in the first 30 minutes to me as well, especially if we have the base down already. There's going to be a lot of RNG coming up with the horse as well. Of course, if we get a very fast horse, that's going to tremendously affect the run. And there's just no way to predict what these horses' speeds will be. Um, uh, you know, if you got a 10-9, or I, I, don't, I don't really know what's possible, but I remember in beta, we could actually get 12.0 horses, which were insane. They were little Sonics. So that definitely changed so much of the runs, even back then. That is a 10-8. That, that is insane. All right, so 10-8. We got, we got a Sonic horse for sure. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and put our base down, I think, right here. Um, it doesn't probably really matter that much where it is, uh, to be honest. We just want it close to iron and close to cotton. So on either side of the iron mine is going to be a really good spot. I think if we put it next to Beatrice, we could somehow play that with servants in a tournament setting to kill Beatrice and other players. But we're not going to worry about that too much. Um, probably just right here is good. I don't want to have to clear that many materials. So we'll just kill this. And I don't think I need a very big base either. Of course, we don't actually need walls or anything of that nature. Oh, I forgot we need to kill uh, we need to kill rocks real fast. Uh, did we make the mace ever? No, we didn't. Uh, craft the mace. Right, we didn't make that. No, we didn't. Okay. So we'll get the mace crafting. Again, this Lumberjack Axes was a fantastic drop. It's going to make us cut these trees down much, much faster than otherwise we'd be able to. I don't think we can get the Tier 2 stones yet. Those would have Tier 2 gems, which would help us get Merciless, but not that big of a deal at the moment. So we're, we're making great time. I really do think at this rate we will have Clive dead within 30, and then probably Quincy dead within 35. 
maybe 40. So I do think this is looking like a two hour Iron Hollow Fang run. Um, I really couldn't have asked for a better run so far. Going to need a lot of stone, if I'm being honest, for the furnaces as well. I think it's something like 480 stone per furnace. We also get very lucky with this being a non-tournament server on the speed run because not only do we not need walls but we can really refund everything that we don't need and leave it very open um we should have actually been gathering blood roses i just remembered um in order to make our next ring so let's see so we only have 10 we would need 30 blood roses so that actually would have been ideal to get the workshop down also i think we want to be making planks right now rather than gathering so let's go ahead and get the heart down first I don't really know how much space we need. I, I feel like we don't need very much. You know, something like this is probably going to be enough. We do not plan on dying, so we're gonna go ahead and refund that. I don't, I really don't know if we need a chest either. Um, I think the majority of our inventory will just come from within. But uh, we'll keep that down for the moment. And we need some walls, which we also get to refund. Okay, so we need the workbench, which is going to take a certain amount of planks, um, which I don't think we have. So we picked up three off RNG, but of course, out of those chests that we, we were getting um, along Rufus, and of course Achille, we could be pulling planks. So on some of our RNG runs, we have pulled something like 16 planks was I think my max. So you could just see the sheer amount of randomness involved and all of this, but I think our run I would take over basically anything else just because of horse speed, as well as a lot of the things that we picked up, like these axes. Now we want to get the uh, the workbench down so we can make the night soccer with the leather that we have. We also absolutely want to get down um, the... We want to get the tannery down ASAP, probably before the workbench. That way we can get some animal hides cooking and turning that into leather. So this is definitely turning into a very fast run. I could easily see myself being level 24 to 30 within 30 minutes. And so this does apply to a tournament setting because even now we would still have our PvP protection timer on. So with correct play in 20 minutes, you could be around level 30 with copper, right? As long as we go to copper mine and we pick up some really good pick up some really good drops and we get that copper cooking very quickly we only need 16 copper bars for our copper weapon so it wouldn't surprise me at all seeing a lot more players at quincy especially in the upcoming 200 dollars duos cash cup who are going to be rocking copper in that first you know 25 minutes of the server and so as we saw yesterday when i was on the fresh wipe server most players were going for copper before they were going for Quincy and I think that's going to be the new meta strategy personally because it's very hard to kill Quincy with even one other player there and the copper is going to give you that Q obviously with the mace it's going to give you the ranged attack with the spear you're going to get the fantastic CC and knockback that's just doing immense damage now we are gathering stone and we're going to gather quite a bit because I'm, I'm really trying to play for the long game here and so we're looking to get five or six furnaces down. And so we're going to need something like 3,000 stone. And I know a lot of you mentioned it, and we did bring it up yesterday, but the stone golem seems ineffective to me. I know it gathers the materials for you a little bit quicker, but you have to like, kite him around. And I just feel like if we got lucky on drops, we could have had, we could have had the mace that gives you bonus stone damage. And so we could still get that, right? Because we're going to go to Clive. And we're gonna go to copper mines. It might be actually worth not gathering anymore. Yeah, let's actually let's actually stop gathering just in case we get that, because that would save us a lot of time. 
And then I think we're also going to be killing Rufus to pick up the Berserker buff to gather quicker. So those two things alone would make gathering that, you know, three or 4,000 stone a lot easier. So here we go. We've got nine planks here. We're going to get the tannery down. And just a ton of animal hide up and running. Did I put stuff in here? No, I didn't. All right, um, we probably need to put some things in here though. Let's sort this, stone bricks, some cloth, sulfur for now, whetstones, a lot of gems. So just some basic stuff, we'll go in there. And then we need a certain amount of planks for the workbench. We need four more planks for the workbench and some animal hide. So those are coming, so we're gonna keep gathering for just a little bit. And then the minute we get this down, we are going to be off to the races, right? We should have probably three-fourth Night Stalker. And that will bring us up to... You know, we, we should probably walk sideways here and try to gather just a bit more Blood Rose. Because that would be an additional three item level. So we would be probably upwards of 24 going toward getting Copper. We're going to do Copper Mine Clive. Copper Mine Quincy? Question mark. I actually don't know the respawn on the Copper Nodes. But we're going to have to hit Copper Mine probably two, three, or even four times. Let's see, it's 20 Copper per ingot. And we're going to need something like 60 ingots for the looms. Yeah. Let's move a little bit more. Gather some trees. You know I hate harvesting. This is my <laughs> least favorite activity in the game. If there were players on this server and this was a fresh start, I would I would for sure just be out hunting people. We probably would have already dropped our PvP protection flag. But that's any game, right? Any full loot PvP game, if you feel confident in your ability to escape or pursue players, you're doing less harvesting and you're doing more fighting. And this game has a really good balance of the two, for sure. Uh, there's 10 more Blood Roses here, so we're one away. Let's go ahead and wolf form, and we'll grab one more Blood Rose if we can find it. Hopefully it's close. We don't want to spend too much time on this. Ideally, we would have already had that. Probably a swap to Worker Blood um, also would have been really smart right about here. So you can see where we could have shaved off some time already, but for the most part, again, this run has been fairly magnificent. Not seeing any Blood Rose. This could be very unfortunate if we do this loop here and we don't have any. We would have just wasted about a minute. Come on, RNG, you've been favoring us so heavily this run. Let's keep it going. Ten Blood Rose, please! That is not looking good. Maybe if we go up on the tier above our base, we'll find some. I also think we needed a little bit more Animal Hide. That was a 48% creature. That was a mistake right there, for sure. Also, swapping to Worker Blood is going to increase our Gallop speed. So we do want that just for moving around the map. Let's go up here and just pray that there's some worker blood, or uh, excuse me, some uh, blood roses. That is not, oh, there it is, fantastic. I don't think we have to kill these, but I'm gonna kill them anyway. Madness, madness and stupidity. Thank you for the follows, the likes and the love. What's going on YouTube and Twitch? We're out here hanging out today, trying to dive into Iron and Hollow Fang as quick as possible. This is an experience that we haven't had before. Madness. Madness and stupidity. All right, we're picking up quite a lot of leather. I think that's the workbench. Oh, oops, we just put the, all our animal hides in there. That's the workbench. That's going to be our Blood Rose Ring. And some, or if not all, of our Night Stalker. It's six leather each, so we're going to get probably three Night Stalker, and then I think we just leave at that point. We don't need Reinforced Bone either, because we already have the Lumberjack Axes. Um, traveler's Cloak, Cloth. So Madness. If, if we had orange used some Cloth, stupidity. that would be a Sun Resistance rating and Health, um, but we only got one, unfortunately, so we're not going to have enough for that. Maybe a second Tannery here would be a smart play. For speed, we're also going to need leather. No, actually, I don't, I don't think that is a smart play. We're going to need those planks. Yeah, uh, I think we're just going to go with three Nine Stalker pieces. That's only going to be um, one item level difference. So we'll grab plated boots and then three three phase Night Stalker. And then the next time we come back, we should have enough leather for the rest. 
Uh, and of course, we're just going to uh, drop this stuff on the ground. It doesn't matter, right? We'll grab this, drop that. Swap into this. All right, we are good to go now. We're level 24. That is looking fantastic. Um, let's see, we want to go copper here. I don't know which way is faster. If we go around iron, mm, probably the other side was faster. I might have just lost some time, um, but that's okay. Maybe we skip copper and we go straight to Clive. Maybe we do that. I think we just go Clive here. So we go Clive. I was looking for an under 30 minute Clive, but I don't think we're going to make it now. I think we're probably going to get around 32 minute Clive. Look how fast this horse is. This is insane. So fast. Uh, we know that way is actually a garlic debuff. So we don't want any stacks of garlic debuffs. So we're going to cut across here, then make a right, and then a left across the bridge back into T1. We're getting really, really, really good at navigating the map without actually pulling up the map. And like we talked about in the past, especially due to how fast horses are and how much damage they currently output. In a PvP setting, every time you push M, you are asking for another player to just zoom next to you and knock you off your horse, right? You're going to be taking 40 or 50 damage or 60 on a critical hit from a merciless copper weapon. That is untenable, right? They just hit you for 30% of your health while you weren't paying attention. So you do want to start to learn the map a little bit better as often as you can. I think we're going to take that arrow, unfortunately. Go ahead and counter this. The horse is going to be moving there. That's perfect. Actually grabbing that copper might have been smart, but we're on the road again. And on the way, we're doing a great job keeping our health maxed out, just using our, our counter and our space bar. But of course, when we get to Clive, I think we swap to the chaotic double dash. Yeah, I think we would take that. Um, oh, we wanted to do copper. That's right. Okay, so we'll go, get, we'll go do copper, clear that out, and then we'll do Clive. So definitely not a 30 minute Clive, but I would say this is an incredible pace. And actually, uh, did I screw that up? Should we? Yeah, yeah, we go around this, then across the bridge. Um, this is a fantastic pace. And for sure, if we would manage to be able to get all of this copper and make it back to our base, which, you know, theoretically on a PvP server would have walls, you would be in copper within the first 30 minutes and ready to gatekeep Quincy, get into PvP fights, and then hunt other players who aren't as far ahead as you are. So this is just a really a, a way to just play really out of your mind here. I don't think we need really anything else from these chests or these monsters. So we're mostly skipping monsters at this point and focusing on iron, or excuse me, copper. Of course, we do want to get the hammer, right? We want that bandit hammer. That'll do 50% more damage to stone and copper. So we are going to be looking for that, but that's like a secondary task here. We're mostly going to be coming in here for the copper. And we don't need to kill this boss at all. We don't need Errol. Now, normally we would be using a mace here, right? To deal more damage to this copper. But we need the axes for the item level to deal more damage to these monsters. So we'll swap once the monsters are all cleared. And we also 100% need a worker. Oh, wow. 70% worker Man. buffs. Madness, Madness and stupidity. Madness, this is exactly what we want. This is crazy. 73%. We're going to get so much copper now. We need, to, we need to heal some health here. Okay, looking good. Nice 35 there on the Shadow Bolt. Getting back some more health. Countering. Feeding big, big plays here. Fantastic. Swapping to the mace. Oh, we cannot use the mace. So we do have to use axes, unfortunately. We're still too low level with the mace. So maybe right there we would have wanted to go into a reinforced bone mace. That's all right. We're still hoping to get the mace as a drop. We are already putting out so much damage. This is a really, really, really good run. I forgot, I forgot to split the workshop. Yeah, it took 30 minutes to get the base down, guys, for sure. That's all right. We already know. 
I am an imperfect live splitter, but this is a fantastic run. Right here, your PvP flag would be falling off now on a live PvP or tournament server. So we would be... I, I don't know. I feel like you'd be hard-pressed. I mean, I guess realistically, another player would have put a base down here, and so they could have actually beaten you to copper. But overall, I think you would be ahead of the curve. So you'd probably be getting in fights here in the copper mine once your flag falls off. So you would, of course, want to be having an empty inventory. And you would want to have walls around your base. So you'd be going a bit slower than me. But ideally, you probably would want your first base to be next to the copper mine. And that could be a part of our next speedrunning strategy as well, especially because I think on standard settings... Yeah, you do get two hearts. So realistically, we actually could have built our first base right next to copper. Um, and then just got the copper bars cooking while we went and did other things. But again, the this, this speedrun, it's so hard to determine what is the proper strategy, right? What's fastest? What is the right play? I don't know. But so far, I feel like we have a really good time here. And it is looking to me like Iron and Hollow Fang within two hours, which to me, I think is massive. If you could be level 38 in two hours, that means you could probably be into T3 very, very quickly as well. I, I'm pretty sure for the Merciless Copper, we're actually going to need to cook on Soliate Hearts and turn those into Greater Blood, so we'll have to get a Blood Press down as well. There's just so many elements of things that you need to build, it's hard to really prepare yourself to know what all of those are going to be. Madness. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Thank you guys for the follows and the likes and love. This is a speed run into Iron and Hollow Fang today on a private just created solo server so there's not going to be any pvp or rat strats and rat traps today unfortunately but so many people asked for this and i myself am curious and we've seen a lot of players who are slowing down pushing on to quincy and so i think this is the reason i think players are just getting prepared for fights more and they're ready to get into iron very very quick and then they can go back for quincy when they've over leveled and especially with the upcoming $200 cash cup this Saturday, June the 11th, the V-Blood bosses are going to have 150% damage and health. You are going to need increased item level to fight them and sustain yourself through those fights, as well as prepare yourself to fight other players. Uh, let's take a look here. We don't need this. Uh, we don't need this. We don't need clay. Uh, we don't need these axes anymore. Everything else looks good. So ideally, I, I don't think we would want to kill Errol here. I don't, I don't think that helps us at all. He, maybe he drops something. But I don't even think we want a research station, do we? No, we have to. We have to have a research station uh, in order to study the merciless drop that Clive is going to give us. So we actually, I, I guess we kill Errol here. Or maybe we accidentally kill Errol um, while getting this copper. I mean, this is fine. I, I basically feel like he does essentially nothing anyway. So we'll just go ahead and gather while fighting him. Uh, are we pulling stone? No, we're not. Okay. We do need these gems because we don't know which merciless recipe we're going to get from Clive, right? It could be any of the weapons. And so we have to prepare. know what he could drop us though is it worth killing him i mean it doesn't feel like i'm wasting a ton of time i'm just gonna take a couple hits as well if i don't feel like countering it we're just gonna eat those oh did we reset him that's actually not good i hope to oh no oh, oh no uh, okay, we're not fighting Errol anymore. <laughs> That's gone. That's gone, guys. I screwed that one up. Sorry. Oh, uh, we had him in half, but uh, it's fine. All we need is this last bit of copper, and then we're on our way to Clive. We'll try to kind of sort our inventory as well on the way to Clive and drop everything I don't think we're going to need. Let's
let's see. Um, oof, it's just very hard to tell what we will or will not need. Uh, gems. I don't think we need tainted hearts. Alright, that is good enough. Let's go ahead and leave. Um, probably drop paper. I think we only need two of each gem in order to... Uh, let's drop the rats. We'll drop the fish. Alright, now we are on our way to Clive. Let's see how much copper that was. So every stack of copper ore is going to be 10 ingots. And we know that we need just a, a very, very, very large amount of ingots. So it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's 120 ingots right there. And we only need 16 or so. I wish we hadn't dropped the rats now. <laughs> if I knew we were going to just burn to a crisp on the way to Clive, I definitely would have made salves. But I guess we're going to eat some of this worker blood. So we need, what, how many looms? Uh, every loom is 12 ingots, so six looms would be 72 ingots, and our weapon is 12 or s I think 16, actually. So that's good. What else do we need ingots for? Hmm. We need ore for the furnaces as well. We need 300 ore for five furnaces, or 360 for six. So uh, I don't know. Probably actually two runs at the copper mine are going to be more than enough. We're going we're gonna to burn a little bit here as well. Uh, maybe we actually just try to f pick up a rat out of these plant fibers because we want to keep this worker blood for essentially the rest of our speed run, especially when we're gathering cotton or iron. I, I don't think it's going to last all the way there, but come on, give me a rat. <laughs> no, no. All right, I screwed this up, guys. We definitely, we're definitely going to lose some time and some worker blood because I got to heal. Very unfortunate. I also literally just threw my three rats on the ground, so we misplayed a little bit here, but that's going to happen, right? Of course, we're going to get into combat as well with these random monsters that are chasing a deer. Don't you burn me again. No! All right, here we go. We got to kill five. Uh, I actually think that this is probably enough health anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and go for it. This horse is so fast, I can barely even turn my camera in time. Oh my god, this horse zooms! Madness. Madness, Madness and, and stupidity. stupidity! Thank you guys for the follows, the likes, and the love. I don't think we can screw this up here. If we, I think if we get hit even once, we might die to some of these spear monsters, especially in the sunlight. And with the amount of net monsters we have here, so we gotta really focus on clearing some of these ads. The horse is so fast that we almost come back around before all of Clive's bombs have even gone off. The reason we're at Clive is one, we need merciless copper, and two, we need at least 12 refined sulfur in order to make our smithy to get into iron. Alright, some of these ads are starting to come down. That's looking good. Again, part of the speed run, if you made your base next to copper mine, you could probably refine copper and you could be fighting Clive with a copper weapon and you could probably fight Quincy with a copper weapon as well. So we might actually go back to the base to begin the copper refinement process and set up our five furnaces and then gather some more stone and wood and planks while we wait for that stuff to finish and then we'll go fight Quincy in basically a merciless copper weapon and full Night Stalker. We're going to be getting a lot of whetstone from this as well, which we need later on uh, for some tier 2 recipes, I believe. 
So soon we can stop going around this pillar after we drop these adds and we can start doing figure eights and slow walking the horse just to deal more straight damage to Clive. We only do this because the adds will do immense damage to us and we cannot afford a death. We're gonna have to walk back from the way gate and that's going to put us pretty far away and we'll probably lose three or four minutes of the speed run. All right, most of these adds are dead. I think we can start slow walking here in just a moment. Doing a great job not getting hit though. I think all these adds are basically dead. Let's go ahead and start slow walking. Maybe we can get them trapped in one of these dynamites as well. There we go, this is looking good now. This is preparing us for our Beatrice fight, right? This is so easy. It's so relaxing. Alright, one more hit here and this is over. Perfect. Beautiful Clive kill. So that did take 40 minutes, so a little bit longer than I expected. But I think we're still absolutely on par for a fantastic run into Iron and Hollow Fang. Thank you all for tuning in and hanging out. That is actually going to be Axes. So that is wonderful. We love Axes. It's got the Q to make us go faster. Um, we do need to drop something here. I don't think we need Glass. Oh, it's so hard to tell what we, uh, what we drop. I actually don't know. I, oh, I also wish offhandedly um, I knew what Axes um, needed for gem-wise. But that's all right. We're just going to keep going here. We're going to grab a couple of these chests. We do need the refined sulfur, so the more actual sulfur we can pick up, the better. There's our first unsullied heart as well. We're going to need four. Let's see. Um, I think we want to pick up sulfur here as well. Um, hopefully the dynamite will blow the sulfur up. We'll find out. It doesn't look good on that front. Axes, axes. Mm, nope, I don't know. We'll just have to hope it's one that we already have. What's this? Uh, topaz. Uh, all right, we'll grab the topaz. I, actually, I think we need blood essence for something. Uh, we'll drop the lumber and we'll take the blood essence. Oh, son of a gun. All right, let's see. And we'll make a quick route here to make sure there's no more chests that we missed. Maybe destroy all this stuff. Let's see what else we can get as a drop. More copper, definitely don't need clay. <laughs> nice, we smoked all the monsters with the dynamite. Oh, that feels great. A miststone, a miststone. I, I think miststone is not axes, but I guess we're just going to have to gamble and hope that it isn't. All right, so we're on the way back to base now. Um, we could easily kill Quincy right here and right now, but I, I actually feel like finishing the night soccer set and maybe getting into a full merciless um, copper weapon would actually benefit us more. Oops, wrong direction. All right, so we're losing a little bit of time, but I think we're really great on the, the record setting still. Let's go ahead and put a, uh, a pin down for base to help us navigate. All right, we are well on the way here and feeling good. Thankfully, I can take a small break to sip some tea. We've been going pretty hard. This is 45 minutes into the run, 
and you would be heading up to, let's see, we're going to get level 25 from our Night Stalker. Um, Copper should bring us to 27, and then Merciless 30. So we would actually be level 30 within about an hour of the game, and probably we could kill Quincy in that time frame as well, depending on how long it takes us to cook that Copper, turning it into ingots. And then we need to make one run after Quincy onto the Iron Mine. Or maybe actually this could work very well if we get the Merciless Copper here. Right? We just go directly into Iron Mine and we wipe it out and we get all the iron. It's 1,200. And then we begin to cook the iron while we fight Quincy. That actually to me is the play of the game. And then by the time we get back, right, we're well on our way. Um, this is going to be Garlic Stacks. I don't want that. Um, and then we'll be well on our way to our iron weapon, which will help us gather the cotton. So, sorry if I'm kind of all over the place. It's really hard to determine the like the best thing to do on this record speedrun. And so once we actually do this the first time, I will, of course, review the footage, see where we can cut some time off. And then probably I would also like to test at some point just running to Silverlight and hanging out at the docks and see how fast we can pick up 60 iron iron bars and whether or not that wouldn't be faster in the long run so i don't know we do see teams that do that and we know that iron ingots drop as a refined product out there thankfully we've already gathered a lot of the stone that we need so here we are we're home we got some time before daylight we're feeling good let's go ahead and get three furnaces down Um, and then we need a bit more stone. Let's see what else we can do. Now, 46 planks seems like a lot to me, though. That's going to be going very well. Um, probably need a lot more planks. I think we need 12 planks. No, 12 ingots. We need a certain amount of planks. Per loom. And we'll also need planks for all of our weapons and the smithy. So, for sure, we're going to need lumber. I almost want to say we should kill Rufus before we gather any more stone or lumber. But while we're waiting here, right, we're trying to wait for our our copper bar to come up. You know what we could do? We actually need to build the research desk. Uh, construct and interact with the blood altar. That's dominance. We don't actually need that. Oh, I have to interact with it. What am I doing? Uh, research desk, we need planks. Oh, we need animal hide. Yo, give me that back. Give me that back. Oh, please don't be a missed stone. Uh, please don't be a missed stone. Okay, rubies. Actually, I think we have two rubies. I think we already picked up one ruby and put it in this chest. No, we didn't. No, we need one ruby. That's terrible. Oh, no, that totally destroyed us. <laughs> the RNG on one ruby. Uh, but that means we can drop the rest of these uh, the rest of these random gems. And we need to try to get one ruby from somewhere. Let's see if we can't. No, these are going to drop tier two stuff. Um, hmm. I think we're just going to have to go without Merciless for now, which I suppose is fine. So let's see. Three, six, nine. We're well on our way to our copper weapon. Let's go ahead and get our other Night Stalker as well. Stalker, we need boots. All right, so we got the boots. We will have... Maybe it would be worth it to go out of your way to grab Grave Dust. Actually, that would be an extra three item level there as well, which is going to help you kill Beatrice. But I think we'll be fine. Honestly, if we get uh, if we get the Merciless Copper Axe, we're going to need one more Ruby from somewhere. But I think for the most part, we're going to be easily able to deal with all the bosses with what we have. And then we will be grabbing uh, the Copper Axe here in just a moment. I think it's 16. All right, we're slowing down a little bit right now, but uh, we're on the way. So Copper Axe. Then we're going to be off, and let's see, we kill Quincy. I don't think we need to do two runs of the Iron Mine. We realistically only need one smithy and one iron weapon to gather the cotton. So we only need 1,200 iron ore. I'm pretty sure you can get at least 1,200 from one run, 
if not more. I think if you full clear, you probably get more like 1,600 or 2,000. So we are in a beautiful spot here. We're on our, I mean, we would be level 30 at this point on a competitive setting. And plus we probably would have killed players and gathered a lot less often. All right, so we cannot make Merciless. So basically at this point, we're just on the way to the next spot. Um, let's see, we wanna cook some more. I don't know if we need more copper. Actually, this might be the amount of copper that we need. So let's just, let's just leave that here. No, 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 we need to cook that. So we need, I, mm. all right, I'm getting bogged down. Let's just go and kill Quincy and then kill Rufus as well, which Rufus should be very easy at this level. So we kill Rufus to get the buff to gather faster so we can gather cotton and iron faster. And then we need to try to pull one Ruby from somewhere. I guess we just hit gem rocks. It's just gonna be mostly RNG, so I don't know. Maybe we open some chests at Quincy and hope that we get it. We'll see how it goes, but it is fun that we now have to rely on RNG just to grab our second gem. We could maybe kill, no, that's stupid. I was gonna say we could maybe kill Beatrice, right? And then get human for him and then trade with Gavin the Shady Deal to, to buy our Ruby, but that is, that is so backward. That would be a terrible play. There's no way that would be fast or smart. All right, so let's look for a, uh, a gem rock if we see one. Picking up a little frame tear. Oh, we can't we can't get into Quincy. We're trash. We're trash. We have to kill F Bear. Oh my God, we're the worst. Actually, we wanted to be cooking sulfur as well to get the smithy. Um, what is a small explosive box? That's just sulfur and I'm so bad. Let's kill Rufus while we're down here. Madness. Madness, Madness and, and stupidity. stupidity. I totally forgot, guys. And now we're stuck in a corner. I've just lost like two and a half minutes off this run. I'm, I'm absolutely the worst player. <laughs> All right. We can bring this back. Uh, maybe these guys will drop on Sullied Hearts. That's the only thing we can hope for here. Doing a good job keeping our health up. Got to remember we've got the Q now. We also need to put on the Illusionary Dash. Or excuse me, the Chaos Dash. Big incapacitate. We're gonna take massive, massive damage here. Oh my god, he attacks so fast. I'm not used to that attack pattern at all. Uh, no unsullied hearts, and I don't really know if we would need any of this other stuff, but maybe at some point we would. Uh, we're also running very low on blood. We have one heart to eat. I forgot we need a... Uh, don't we need greater blood essence for Merciless? Definitely we need that for iron. So I'm not sure. I feel like we're kind of running very low here. Maybe if we get a ruby and we kill Rufus, this will actually change the run and make this um, so it wasn't a waste. So let's just pray. There was a 62% creature. What am I doing? What am I doing? Come on, Ruby. Oh, we need that Ruby, baby. Oh, please. No, that's a miss. A miss on the Ruby. Oh, we should have ate that creature right there. There's some sulfur. All right, let's, uh, let's get our head back in the game here. Rufus for the buff. We need a Ruby. And we need to kill F Bear, uh, I think. Or we just go back and we start gathering, and then we craft one small explosive. That might be the play. Oh, uh, where's some shade at? Uh, here's a chest. Let's go ahead and grab these chests. This is going to be RNG for our ruby, as well as some planks and other miscellaneous items. Madness. Madness, Madness and, and stupidity. stupidity. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We are hanging out. No, 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 no. What is this? Oh, I forgot that bug was there. Oh, the incapacitate and the sun. This is getting very dangerous. We cannot afford a death. We just wasted quite a bit of time this run. Thank you guys. We're hanging out. Madness. This is our first Madness time ever stupidity. attempting to speed run iron. And it was going absolutely top tier. I think we couldn't have had a better start to our run. Um, and then we kind of threw a little bit, but I, th I think we're coming back. I think we are coming back. Um, I have to eat someone. So I'm going to take a, nope. I was going to take that, but I killed it. All right, let's go. So let's grab Rufus. 
Uh, honestly, a, a Daylight Rufus might not be the play, unless I fight him on foot. I guess that should be fine. We are a very high level compared to these monsters. We're essentially just devastating these monsters at the moment. I need. I'm gonna drink this uh, this monster right here. This two percent, and then just kind of take a peek around. We do have a chest available to us. I was actually positive that we were going to get um, a two-hour Iron Hollow Fang, but now I, I don't know. I think it's going to take about 30 minutes to cook all of our iron, even with six furnaces, right? It's four minutes per iron ingot. So maybe we actually go for like 10 furnaces and we hit the copper mine one more time. I'm not sure. Just doing immense damage to Rufus, though. Alright, we killed Rufus pretty quick here. That is going to give us the buff, which I think we actually want over Shadow Bolt basically all the time. And then we are going to put on probably the Veil of Chaos as well. Um, Frostback could, could be a good play, but we'll put on Blood Rage. That'll help us uh, gather and do miscellaneous other things as we pursue the rest of this run. I'm probably going to just kill all this stuff in the, the vain hope that we pick up a Ruby. Madness. There's Madness one more chest here. Uh, two chests. Two chests. All right. Oh, no. Gavin. That is bad RNG for Gavin to arrive right now. We want to grab both of these chests and then probably just bounce out of here. No ruby on either of those. 45% warrior. We accidentally just ate. Where was that other chest? Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh no, we did get a, quite a few planks, so that'll save us some time and effort gathering. That's Tristan. That is very bad. If we could somehow kill Tristan here, that would give us access to the greater blood essences, which would for sure help us in the long run. I don't know what to do. I think we go back to base and we just look for stone gems and chests on the way. There's a stone gem up there on the terrace. We're going to grab that. Probably looking for a high tier worker in the near future as well. I think we also need sulfur and copper, so this wasn't the worst idea to come up here or to come down to Farbane. We're at an hour. I think we're okay as long as we make Oh, we should be uh we should be enraging here. I think we're okay, actually. If we go home and we hit the iron mine and we get all of our iron cooking before we go to Quincy, as long as we get the uh, the gem that we need to make the merciless copper, I think we'll be able to save all of our time. There's our ruby. Okay, this is huge and salvageable. This is back to being a beautiful run. Especially with that idea, I think that's what we need to do. We're going to make... Madness. Madness, Madness and, and stupidity. stupidity. Thank you all for the follows, the likes, and the love. The constructive criticism and compliments across YouTube, Discord, and Twitch. Please follow us on all those platforms as well. It really does help. Building the numbers up. Stunlock Studios actually invited us to the closed beta test of this game based on our followers. And they liked our channel. And now we're producing a lot of content. And we've got a nice little partnership going on. So those numbers do add up. And they mean so much to me. So thank you all for the follows and the subs. I really, really appreciate it. Um, this run is definitely salvageable now. We've got our Merciless Copper coming up. We're actually going to do Iron before Quincy just to get it cooking, right? It's a, We're looking at about a 40-minute cook period 
on that iron based on the amount of furnaces we have. So I think we go for 10 furnaces Madness. and we just do Madness and some stupidity. crazy berserking and fighting of these, uh, these stones, right? We're just going to run around smashing as much stone as possible. We need like 4,000 stone and a ton of copper and we're going to get a bunch of furnaces up and running. Uh, we can drop every gem. That is not what we need. We don't need gem dust. We don't need clay. We don't need any of this stuff. All we need is that. There's the merciless copper. That's going to be insanely big for us. Um, and then let's go ahead and swap this here. We'll swap this here. Put this over. Um, we are in a fantastic spot. We actually do not need the greater blood for the merciless copper. Pull that out. Let's go ahead and get the sulfur running as well. I mean, probably you would go for... I mean, we need the stone anyway, so like, no, it's going to take forever to break that. Um, obviously, you could see how we could we could be getting tier 2 gems from this. All right. What, let's focus. We need stone for furnaces, and we need iron. Everything else looks magnificent. I think we're in our basically our highest gear set that we can be in. So we're now going to swap over to this, and we're going to be berserking and gathering. We need, like, 3,000 stone. Let me think. Should we get some iron cooking while we're doing this? I think we do. I think we do want some iron. So actually this will be my, my last stone node. And then we'll, play, we'll place a lot of stuff in the chest and we'll get some more copper cooking as well. We're gonna need just tons of copper ingots. We probably need to make one more run. Let me see. So we want six looms. That's 60, that's 72 iron ingots. What, do we, what did we end up with? No, we're gonna need, oh, 56? I don't know, that's a lot. Um, and we need 60 per furnace, so 60. This is three furnaces, this is three furnaces. That's six more furnaces. And then we'll just burn the rest of this copper ore and we'll make, we'll make one more run at copper after we kill Quincy. All right, don't get, uh, don't get distracted by the base. All right, let's put some stuff away. Uh, we need sulfur as well, right? We actually probably need more sulfur than I even have. Every 20 Madness. is one and we need 12. Madness and stupidity. Every 20 is one and we need 12. That's 220 sulfur, but I think we actually get sulfur from the iron mine. Dropping this, dropping tainted hearts. All right, this is us going to the iron mine and gathering iron. We're gonna get that cooking and we're gonna get more furnaces made and more iron cooking. We're gonna kill Quincy, come back, grab an iron weapon, and then we're gonna be gathering cotton like our life depends on it, building six to eight looms and churning out some hollow fang. This is hopefully a two hour iron hollow fang run and you would be upwards of level 50 within two hours and dominating on PVP servers. This is so many monsters. Let's uh, let's jump off up here, right? We, we can't really be on the horse for very long in here, unfortunately. Um, this is a, a trash spot to fight monsters um, and to be on a horse. So we'll call this right here. Just clearing these out. We got to be very, very careful in here. Obviously, if Lydia comes, we're we're annihilated. If Tristan decides to come in here, or, excuse me, Jade, we're probably annihilated. If the undead commander catches up off guard, we're annihilated. Twenty iron ore. Here we go. The gathering has commenced. We only need twelve hundred iron ore, guys. We need something like fifty-two iron bars to get your iron weapon. You need 32 for the smithy and 20 for your weapon. That's 520. Is that good math? 52 bars times 20. It's 520 and 520. We need 1,040 iron ore. It's really not that much. There's the sulfur we were talking about. So it does, of course, drop in here. Grave dust as well, actually. We're going to need wool threads for hollow fang. So everything that we need to get into hollow fang is right here inside of this mine. We've also got the sulfur. We're gonna make a small bomb to blast our way into Quincy. We're skipping F bear. Oops, we got a berserk. We got a berserk. We're losing time here. So we actually spent time, right? We spent time to kill Rufus. We need to capitalize on that with the berserks. And then we only have to kill Quincy on the horse, Beatrice probably on foot, and we are good to go. 
We'll see how this pans out. Of course, if you had a duo for the upcoming $200 Duos Cash Cup on Saturday, June the 11th, we will be giving away prizes on stream. We're going to be giving away a DLC. Madness and stupidity. If you had a duo, this would all be much, much, much faster, of course. What do we have so far? We've got about 600. We're halfway to the amount of iron that we need, and we've only cleared one room. This is incredible. I don't think we need iron for the loom, and we don't need iron for hollow fang. We only need iron for merciless hollow fang. If this goes the way that I think it does, everyone, we will be pausing this speed run after we get into Iron and Hollow Fang, and this would probably be a Solaris speed run after that. So we'll see how it goes. Tomorrow we might be speed running to Solaris. Right? All we would need for our merciless Hollow Fang would be iron. Very easy to pick up in the mine, of course. Picking up gems as well, that's going to get us into our merciless iron weapon. So many bosses are skippable. If we killed Beatrice and got into Hollow Fang full and iron, I believe you then just go straight to Octavian. And then you go to Cursed Forest and you're in your Dawn Fang. A uh, Dawn Thorn? Dawn Thorn. What a run this is becoming. Phenomenal RNG with the horse stats. Great pickup there on the Merciless Copper. Need to kill the mages first here. Not gonna get out of that one in time, unfortunately. No way, he got me with that. Oh, the skeleton predictions are insane. I almost want to overgather iron here in order to pressure ourselves up into Merciless Hollow Fang for a Solara speedrun. I, I almost want to switch this up. I mean, honestly, you could sit here and you could do this so, so fast, right? If we clear every single room in the iron mine, I now feel like it's a lot more than I originally predicted. You might be able to get 3,000 iron. Again, if this was a PvP server, I would 100% be coming in here trying to kill someone like me. That's why you always have to have your health above 85%. You gotta play competitively and be ready for a player to gank you at any time. You gotta capitalize on your merciless copper weapon. As we saw yesterday on the stream on the Fresh Shard server, I was killing players that had iron with a copper spear. So you can easily upkill players in higher tiers. It is a challenge, but when you catch them off guard, you catch them farming, especially in here, right? If they take a stack of corrosion, that's going to be about 30% of their health and damage just instantly melted off. I feel like we have enough iron already. Let me take a look at my inventory. Uh, let's see, um, uh, 600, oh, we have so much more than we needed. Way, 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 way more than we needed. Um, we do need more sulfur though, so let's make a chest run real fast. Hopefully we can pull some sulfur out of the chests. I think it drops from crates as well. Kind of wasting a little bit of time right now, unfortunately, to drop the boots. Drop the sword. Nope, we are looking for sulfur. We need 12 sulfur to get that smithy. Although I, I guess we don't need it right away. We can just grab sulfur from somewhere else. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't know what else these chests give that would be worth our time.
other than gems, right? I guess these gems, if we're going for a, uh, a Solaris run, we would probably want a Merciless Iron Weapon. I think we would also want an Unsullied Heart. But that's right. Let's go ahead and grab the horse and head home. And get this iron cooking and start gathering some stones so we can get you know, eight or ten furnaces. So if we have ten furnaces Madness. and we need Madness 52 iron ingots, stupidity. that means we only have to wait for five five ingots from each furnace at four minutes of pop it's going to take 20 minutes to get our iron weapon that's plenty of time to go kill quincy and make some things happen oh no oh no the legendary horse trap oh no where's our base oh i screwed that up no we're, we're just shaving seconds off the clock right now all right, guys, we're diving in. We are at an hour 12, feeling great. I have to take a quick, like, two-minute break, so we are going to pause the speedrun clock, and we're going to log out. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be right, right, right back. All right, we're back. Actually, I want to take a breather anyway, to Madness. be honest. Uh, I, want to, I want to kind of plot this stupidity. out. So we're home with all the iron. We're feeling incredible. We're about an hour and 10 minutes into this run, and we're, I'm, we're killing it. Honestly, we're, I feel like we're devastating this run right now. We are on our way to having an iron weapon as long as we get 10 furnaces down within 20 minutes. We have to get into Quincy, though, and I don't think we have enough sulfur to make a small explosive. Yes, we do. We, we have enough sulfur for a small explosive. Um, we don't have enough sulfur for the smithy, but that's okay. We will we'll grab sulfur as we see it on the road on the way to Quincy, and we'll bring that back. We only need 12 sulfur for the smithy. And then I think we have everything we need. Do we need reinforced planks for the smithy, though? That actually, that is an important question. Let's take a look. Let's, uh, let's plot this out a little bit. We're, we're doing so good with this run. We haven't had to look anything else up yet. Smithy, uh, V rising cost. This is probably gonna take us to the wiki. Uh, cost, resources, uh, I don't know. Let's put plank, we'll see what comes up. How to, how to build a castle in V rising, get out of here. Oh my God, uh, Smithy, wiki, V rising, let's try that. I thought there was a wiki for this. Wikis, weapons, and R. All right, I, I don't know. Let's give this a try. Let's see what this comes up with. Armor, okay, let's see. Cloaks, no, this is, this is not what I want. Search guide, smithy. All right, I think we just, we just roll with it anyway. Even if we need them, I'm pretty sure we can loot them out of containers, but 
I believe you can make them. Actually, I think you can make them in the sawmill with planks and iron. So we probably would get those anyway. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm just taking a, a small think. Thank you all for the follows. It's been an incredible journey so far. We're one hour and 10 minutes in, and we're hanging out. We're getting a lot accomplished. And it absolutely looks to me like an hour and a half in, Madness. we will have Quincy, Madness and Iron stupidity. Weapon, and then hopefully within 30 minutes after that, we will have... Madness. Madness and stupidity. Our Hollow Fang said. So two hours to Hollow Fang, then you would kill Octavian. Probably another hour to get your full Dawn Thorn set. And Madness. then you... Madness and stupidity. Then you kill Solaris? I, this could be a four-hour Solaris run. Am I doing my math right? I don't know. This is incredible. But let's go ahead and uh, continue the run. I only have about an hour and 20 minutes here before the world first shadow war in Diablo Immortal. So we're going to that with the clan tonight. This is the preliminary rounds of the shadow war. Um, we have to attend, right? We have to try to get top 10 on the server. That way we can go to war with the immortal clan to try to become the immortal clan for this cycle of shadow warfare. But uh, all right, let's go ahead and get this started. Cracking my neck, drinking some water. We went to the bathroom. We're, we're, we are crushing the server right now. All right, how do we join this? Do we just double click this? All right, is it period to start or we'll see if period unpauses this we're probably going to be <laughs> burning in the sun as well i imagine i definitely think we have enough copper to make tent furnaces we're probably just gonna have to hit a bunch of stone and then we need to get more copper to turn into ingots to get the looms down ideally we probably would have already had this iron cooking but i, I don't know it's, it's really hard to like judge without watching the entirety of the footage but for sure, overall, getting this 10.8 horse and a number of other things has set us up for true and total success. All right, so yes, this is working. No, the sun. Do we have enough for a brazier? We do. Uh, fill that with some bones. Okay, perfect. That's actually going to save us a lot of time with the brazier. Actually, we, we have... Okay, we have some sulfur. Let's take a look at what it takes to make an explosive. Where do you even make an explosive? The alchemy lab, no. No, we need to do F-Bear. This is like turning into trash. No, you need 12 sulfur. We have to kill F-Bear. Oh, no. No, 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 no. F-Bear should be pretty easy at this level though. But absolutely, we want to get the iron cooking first, right? So we need ideally five bars each. Um, no, no, we have to kill Quincy. Oh my God, we're, we're trash. This run is scuffed. Okay, for sure we would want to have already killed F-Bear or had that explosive crafted. No, that probably just added 10 minutes to the run. Let's see, F-Bear kill at level 30 should be very easy though. This is a very fast horse. Ideally, we would also have, wa we'd probably want a spear to deal increased damage to F-Bear. It doesn't matter, we're just going to go for it. I think the item level for the Merciless Copper Axe is going to carry us through that damage. No, that actually changes everything. Okay, so now we kill F-Bear and then Quincy. That's gonna take probably at least 10 minutes. Ten minutes, then we get the iron cooking. That'll be one hour 50. Then we gather cotton. Okay, this run is, is turning into a very strange thing here. I think we should have killed F-Bear and Quincy before gathering iron. So we will, oh no, we will, we will know that for next time. Wow, there's so many elements, right? The speed, like we mentioned earlier, speed running to Quincy does nothing. It, it basically does nothing other than get you ready for PVP, but it really doesn't help you get into iron any faster. You're still gonna have to get all the iron yourself. You're still gonna have to get your merciless copper. Also, so many players we've seen have built weird bases over here by F-Bear. 
and it kind of blocks it off. It makes it, taking a shortcut very hard. And so then you would have to go around on a PvP server. You'd also have to be navigating through so many players and so many rats. But here we go. I have no hit F bear before, right? We've n we've been able to not get hit, but we've also wiped on F bear. So we'll see how this goes. This is going to add quite a lot of time to the run. Nice crit there for 40, though. Just 40 is across the board here. Wow, what is going on here? Th this is the perfect horse for... Oh, I thought he wasn't going to use any abilities at all. All right, we got we to gotta turn here quick. Don't want to get knocked off. That was the perfect rotation, and so F-Bear actually wasn't using any of his abilities. Man, we're doing so much damage to level 30. Actually, this isn't going to take as much time as I thought it was going to. We're actually in a really, really good spot here. As long as we beat F-Bear here, I, I think beating him would have taken the same amount of time that it would have taken to craft a small explosive anyway. Now, unfortunately, the axes don't have the same reach as the spears, so we have to be a little bit careful. Oof, almost got clipped on that one. That was very close. What really kills you is when F Bear turns, when he enrages directly after doing the ground pound. Right? If he, like, right here he's going to enrage, we're fine. But if he enrages after he ground pounds, you then have to try to dodge F Bear while he's enrage charging and the falling stuff, and you can easily lose your life or the life of your horse. See right here, if he enraged, we would be in, in big trouble. This is looking good, though. This is looking, um... This, this run is now a lot less scuffed than I, I had foretold. I, I feel really good about this. I think we kill him here. Yep, kill him in that one hit. That was actually very simple. Okay. We are back on track and feeling good. I was a little worried, but uh, honestly, that was a, a super fast kill. Probably the fastest I've ever killed F-Bear, but we will have to add that, I think, to the speedrun clock. Because I, I don't see how you could do it without doing that. Also, if you if you actually... Look at all this stone. Actually, I think we... Uh, no, we don't, we don't want to gather this. We don't want to gather this because we need the iron cooking. Okay. I'll, I'll just finish this. And then we'll go. That's a lot of stone, though. This would be an excellent base. All right, back on track, one hour and 20 minutes in. We're looking at maybe at probably two hours and 15 minutes to Hall of Fame. Madness. Madness and, and stupidity. stupidity. I also don't know how many wool threads and other random tier two materials that we would need. So it's very possible that even if we got the iron weapon and even if we got all of the cotton that we need turned into cotton yarn, um, we would be unable to craft the Hall of Fame straight away. But I suppose while we have the looms churning out the yarn, we could be gathering, especially up at the werewolf village. We would be getting a lot of random stuff like wolf red. Thank you all for the follows, the likes, and the love. We are out here hanging out. Going to be a short stream today, but we'll continue tomorrow for a Solara speed run. And Saturday, June 11th, we have a non-merciless $200 cash cup coming up so find yourself a partner the signups will be live tomorrow nice RNG here on all the gate guards fighting a bunch of bandits probably need to pick up some blood here as well let's see what we got we have 24% in the back here 38% right there that's going to be huge um, we're going to drink that we're going to take some damage here and drink that Probably a lot of damage, to be honest, yeah. Madness. Madness and stupidity. 
All right, 38% rogue blood. Is that going to be useful? Yep, 20. Uh, let's see. That looks like a. It's probably 14% chance to crit on our weapon attack. That is going to be great with the left clicks on Quincy. So we are now on the way to Horse Lord Quincy. Hopefully we'll have him down within five minutes. I think with this kind of horse and this decent bit of blood, we should be able to do it. Let's just take a look here in case we can find 100% Brute or Warrior. There's 54% Rogue. You would almost want to stop for that, but I'm not going to. Try to make this fun for me at least. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Oh man, the, the reach on the axes is so minimal compared to the spear. It's, it's literally uncomparable. Alright, here we go. Now we got Quincy on his own. We are doing an immense amount of damage to Quincy right now. The only thing we gotta worry about is a little bit later, he is gonna put up that reflect shield and we don't wanna get knocked off the horse. But to be honest, if we took this fight to the ground, I think with the Berserk, we would be in a good spot. Oh, we got stuck on uh, we got stuck on that torch right there. I think we have time to get on this. No, we don't. Nice bit of ground play there while we waited for the horse to come back. I almost... Oh, nope. I almost wonder if it wouldn't be faster to... F no, no, we're only doing seven damage. There's no way that's faster. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Oh. Ugh. Nice. Okay, you wasted a shield here. Oh, yeah. Criti critical for 37 on the horse. There's no way you're going to be able to do more damage on the ground um, without Chaos Volley. Nice, he wasted his counter again. This is going to be big. I think we're easily going to get this in the next two or three minutes. A hundred percent blood. Are you kidding? I don't know, guys. I, I almost think we go for that blood. Uh, maybe if he does the triple thing here. No, no, no. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know how we can possibly get this 100% blood without taking immense damage. Maybe we jump off and we space bar right and we get it here. He charges and then he has to walk back. He massive. Then we counter the huge. I don't think we can get on the horse yet. I cannot believe we got 100% blood off an ad. That is going to be a 20, let's see, 26% chance to crit Quincy. Alright, now he's going to triple charge. And then he's going to stun himself. This is looking fantastic. Oh, we missed. Definitely going to pick up an easy Quincy here. He's going to waste his counter. Big. Wow, 57. Hundred percent blood. Honestly, we should immediately after we get some iron cooking, we should immediately go kill Beatrice. I almost want to say we just make a like a weird attempt at a very early Octavian as well. Big counter. Unfortunately, we're gonna pick that one up. I think we finished this fight on the ground here. Alright, huge pickup on Quincy. That is 1 hour 24, so I, I don't know. I don't know what we could have done different. We'll definitely review and figure it out, but I, I still feel like this is fantastic. Picking up an Unsullied Heart as well off that. That is us going home, 100% rogue blood. I think we get iron cooking, we make one or two furnaces, 
and then we're straight out and fighting Beatrice. Imagine if a Blood Moon was coming up as well. What else do we have? So we, we crit off of our space bar. That would be insane in PvP. Madness. Madness and stupidity. 50% chance to crit on armor, doing increased damage. Again, that's going to be big for Beatrice and boosts everything. So we're just doing immense damage with our weapon swings, going through armor and critting left and right. Incredible pickup from that ad there. I'm really glad we saw that, especially after we hit it for 54. We could have taken that thing's head off without ever seeing the blood. Thank you guys for the follows, the likes, and the love. This is a world record attempt at a speed run Madness. into Iron Madness and Hollow and Fang. Stupidity. And it's going so well, in my opinion. We had such good luck that I think we carry this forward, right? We pause the speed run and edit it after this, and we pick up Solaris. Let's see, we would have to have Octavian. I think we would need Wilfred. And not Asriel, we need the other holy boss Madness. whose name I always forget. Madness and but those stupidity. three plus Solaris, I think we could easily get a Solaris kill, especially with Ward of the Damned and some other um, beautiful abilities. So let us go ahead and take a minute here to get this iron cooking, the one that we have. We'll get some stone going. Thank you all for the follows, the likes, and the love. This is 100% looking like a world record speed run to me. This is incredible. We're making very good time. What's this? Merciless, a merciless iron. We picked up a merciless iron mace. That is incredible. That is our merciless right there. Fantastic. All right, what do we need, guys? What do we need so we don't slow down here? Let's get some of this iron out. Get some of this iron in. We need more sulfur as well. We're going to have to have 12 sulfur. Looks like we are at 9. So we got to pick up random sulfur in the road. Here's actually sulfur right there. Uh, we only need 3 more. That's all of it. We only need 80 sulfur. We're done with the sulfur. Iron weapon coming up. All we need is some more furnaces to get this cooking. Do we get more from these or do we get more stone from the actual stone, uh, like the stone ruins that are above us and below us? I think we're going to take a look. We're going to risk a little bit of time here and hope for the best on that. Let's take a look. All right, let's see what we got. Um... Honestly, it looks like Madness. you get way more Madness from these ruins to me. Madness and stupidity. Thank you all. And welcome to the stream. We're hanging out today. Unfortunately, we're not doing any PvP. We're just perfecting our speed run. This is definitely a faster stone right here. So the ruins are the play over gathering stone. I, I think we just learned that live. And we're feeling good about it. It's also going to give us stone bricks, which would be useful for building a castle. Obviously, on a speedrun attempt, you don't have to have walls or Madness. anything defensive. Madness and stupidity. We need about 500 stone per furnace and 60 copper ore. We're also going to need an immense amount of copper ingots to get, you know, five to eight looms down. How am I doing, guys? Let me know in the chat. Pop off. Is this fast? What's the fastest you've ever had an iron weapon? But did you have all the mats that you would need for your hollow fang as well? So many more things come into play when you're speed running into cotton and hollow fang and your merciless iron and iron compared to just fighting Quincy. I was afraid we had a scuffed run in one or two spots when we needed a ruby to get our merciless copper. And we picked up that ruby so fast I thought we were in trouble when we had to kill F-Bear, but we downed F-Bear super easy on a no-hit. Picking up a Quincy very fast and 100% Rogue Blood, bringing just so much stuff home right now. With 10 furnaces, it's going to take 20 minutes to make our iron. In that time, we will kill Beatrice and start gathering some Tier 2 mats so we can make an insane amount of looms. Of course, there's going to be some RNG elements to our Hollow Fang set because of the amount of yarn, right? The cotton yarn that we pick up from the farmhouses and the chests is going to immensely change how fast we get the looms down.
Here's some uh, Morning Lily as well. So we could upgrade here to a nine item level ring if we can pick up some Morning Lily and a bunch of Grave Dust, but I'm not sure where we're at on either of those. So it's, it might not be worth pursuing right now. Regular Mist Stone, I can't remember what the Mace takes. That might take Mist Stone. But that's all our stone. Let's go ahead and head back. Get some more furnaces on the ground. What is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more and we're good to go. So just a little bit of stone here and we will be good. Honestly, we've already had some more cooking, so I don't even know if we need that many. Let's go ahead and take a bit out of each of these, right? So one stack per is probably honestly too much. We might have to cut some of these stacks in half. Uh, for sure, if we're making a Solaris speed run as a world record, um, we would want to be getting more iron. That way we can go from Hollow Fang into Merciless Hollow Fang. But that's all our iron cooking. Now we go for Beatrice. And we should be able to come back and have that ready to go. Um, let's get some more planks cooking as well. I think we might have a bit of lumber here. We do. That's looking great. Now we go for Beatrice. We've got the 100% blood. We're feeling cutthroat after the Quincy F Bear massacre. Let's go ahead and head over to Dawnbreak Village. Where are you at? Where's that at? I, I feel like it's next to Iron Mine. Is it over here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Madness. All the Madness map awareness in the world can't always prepare you for everything. Um, we're going to jump off here, right? We're going to make some weird attempts here um, to get some bonus mats. So we're going to stop off at these farmhouses. There's some reinforced planks. There's fish oil. We would need that for our Dawn Thorn. This is where we died in our duos tournament for the first time ever to our duos partner, pro apex player bird, picking up a massive kill on us at level 62. That was a heartbreaking loss on the merciless server. Just so many monsters here. This is going to be awful. And it's the daytime. This is just a very bad time to pursue Beatrice. But if we're lucky, she'll go. I think we get knocked off the horse here. Oh, the lag and the sheer amount of monsters on our back right now. This, this is going to be awful. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Thank you guys so much. And thank you for tuning in. Welcome. Please join the Discord at discord.gg slash Eclipse Gaming. We're looking for feedback, sharing strategies, and hanging out, preparing for the June 11th Duos Tournament. That's going to be a $200 cash cup. Find yourself a partner in the Discord. The signups will be going live later, along with... Let's see, do we have a, do we have a rat? No, we don't. Okay, um, okay, definitely kill this militia guy. This is going to save us a lot of effort having to fight things. We can down this very quickly. Not quite quick enough. Obviously, you're going to get a lot of RNG on fighting Beatrice as well as far as time goes with the amount of monsters that are here. Obviously, if you have a boss like Christina here or you get picked up by fire, it's going to be very challenging to make some plays. Hopefully, we leash some of these mobs away. Getting a decent circle right now. We're also we're being missed by a lot of the arrows. I feel like we're, we're getting pretty lucky here. We're pulling a Neo from the Matrix and just dodging arrows left and right. This is her running into the woods. This is actually going to be great. So many of these monsters are going to leash. This was a really, really good Beatrice pull. I think fighting her on horseback can be the play, but sometimes you just got to follow her on foot and capitalize. Fantastic Beatrice. We're an hour and a half in. Beatrice is down. We now need to get our iron, which is cooking right now. And then we need to go for some looms. 
Let me let me think about this. Let's grab a rat. See if we can't make some salve. Just to heal so we don't have to use this 100% blood. What a run this is becoming. What do we need for looms? Wool thread, copper ingots, planks. So we need wool thread, and I don't, I don't know where to get that. Probably this village. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say you get it just from random boxes and monsters in tier 2. So we're now going to just fight a bunch of monsters. Right? We're going to take some time. We're still waiting for that iron to cook in order for us to get the weapon that we need to grab cotton. So... That is wool threads for sure. This is where we want to be. We also just picked up a beautiful drop there of some rose brew. Let's see, dropping scrolls, uh, dropping gem dust, snow flowers. We do have enough morning lilies for our nine item level ring. We would just need more grave dust. So we're probably well on our way to that. This is fantastic. We're making great time. Doesn't this monster put up a shield? Yes, it does. Okay, good. Alright, so now we're just farming, guys. We're just farming for wool thread, which we need for the hollow fang and for the looms. The iron is cooking. We could not be in a better place right now. We're also going to gather some cloth, which is going to give us the tier 1 and maybe even the tier 2 cloak what's this 75 percent rogue our 100 percent still has plenty of time left so we're gonna hold on to that for now yep that's more cloth this is incredible madness, madness. on this run right now madness and stupidity all right we're gonna salve What else would we need? Maybe a Scourge Stone at some point? Scourge Stone for our necklace? Hmm. I don't know. You know, I really only was prepared for Iron and Hollow Fang, but now if I'm thinking about it, and the, the amount of luck we had and how fast we're going, there's really no reason not to go for Solaris or even all three unique souls. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll think about it and we'll review what you guys say in chat. And what YouTube says, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But I guess if you're going to speedrun, you should probably just do the whole game. And this is a really, really good attempt right now, in my opinion. Probably will need glass at some point. There's an amethyst pendant. That's probably an excellent RNG drop here as well. So we're getting tons of tier two drops we've got our merciless iron mace and now we have a pendant so our item level is just going to be soaring as we head to octavian we also had fantastic rng with a lot of the boss placements we never ran into jade or tristan in weird spots so far uh, also, we've seen Christina come in here on numerous occasions, and at that point, she's essentially just unkillable and a menace. So you never want to see her while you're fighting Beatrice, basically at all. We know there's a chest up here to the right, along with some other materials, and we know that iron is still cooking, so we're going to go ahead and kill some of this. If we can, I don't know. We know that these are going to be skulls. This is going to be a very challenging fight for us. We definitely don't want to pull the second priest, right? If we pull the second priest, that's going to be heals. And there's going to be no way we can finish these monsters off. Even now, I, I don't I don't feel like this is worth my time and we don't want to pick up a death. So I'm actually going to leave and we're going to go take a look at how the furnaces are doing. And hopefully be ready and on the way to gather some cotton. We also have to kill trees, right? For every single loom, we're going to need 20 planks. So we probably need to start killing trees.
Has it been 20 minutes? I don't even know. Let's let's head home, actually. Let's head home. Let's not waste time. The second we get iron is the second we start getting cotton, is the second the cotton's hitting the looms and turning into cotton yarn and on our way up to Hollow Fang. I like how also, because it's not a PvP server, I don't feel like there was a 44% Scholar. I don't feel like we actually... There's Christina now as well. We just mentioned her. So I don't feel like we need Scholar Blood for anything because the majority of these fights, we're absolutely going to be able to Horse Lord and just to push, you know, push through without having to do a lot of the things you would have to do. You don't have to ever be ready for PvP here. So you're kind of always in a really, really good spot. Uh, let's see. Let's put all the Blood Essence in the heart for now. Um, we'll drop some as well. That is going to be, at the very least, our Tier 1 Cloak. But I think we can... Now, the Tier 2 Cloak, I believe, is on the Tailoring Bench. So we're also going to need the Tailoring Bench. So let's see. Tailoring Bench is going to be 28 Cotton Yarn and then Hollow Fang. So that's what we need the yarn for. Let's go ahead and see where we're at. Three each. I think we needed each of these to make five. So we still have quite a bit of time left until the smithy. There's our 12 sulfur. That's 31 bars. We need a bit more bars. So we need, what, 52? Um, this is five. Each of these should have five or two more a piece. It's two, 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 uh, a little bit more than two. Okay, so these will definitely produce all the iron that we need. Let's focus on the looms. So I need uh, just a ton of looms and a ton of ingots. Right now this is six. That's 72. This is six. We're going to need so much wool thread and so many planks. All right, let's get this going. Madness. Madness, Madness and, and stupidity. stupidity. God, we need a lot of wool thread. All right, so we absolutely need to just farm somewhere for tier two. And to be honest, we want to do that farming now. We've got 100% rogue blood. We're popping off. We're critting monsters left and right. We're slaying bosses. Now is the time to pursue weird and interesting strategies as we head up and toward Solaris and the rest of his ilk. So when we get the iron weapon and we get some wool, right, we'll, we'll hit all the cotton fields and we'll get all that cooking. And then I, I think that we go kill Nikolaus. That will get us into our merciless iron. And then we would go for Octavian? I, I don't know. This is so weird. Everything has turned out differently than I thought it would, which is how it's going to go. Uh, most of the plan came to fruition that I had in my mind, but a lot of it was different. So I think what we'll do while we wait for the rest of the iron to cook is maybe go kill Nikolaus. I don't, I don't even know if we wait for the iron to finish. I think we just go kill Nikolaus now. That way we get Ward of the Damned, which we'll absolutely need for the Octavian fight. Uh, I don't think we can Horse Lord Octavian. His spinning blades are insane. Um, do we want to put more iron in here as well so we can upgrade to Iron Hollow Fang or Merciless Hollow Fang? I don't know. There's, there's so many like weird things to think about doing. Um, we probably need to make a chest as well. If we're going to keep going, right? If we're going to pursue this, then we're going to need a lot of weird stuff. So that would be 15 planks. You actually want a vampire lockbox over a normal chest. It's going to save you uh, planks in the long run and wood. All right, uh, swords. Let's just put leather. We'll put all our tier two stuff in there. Some sewn bricks, the iron, I guess the planks and the copper. Kind of just like the stuff that we feel like we're going to need at some point. That's good enough. Uh, we're going to need a blood press as well for the merciless iron. So we're going to need one more unsullied heart on that front. I think we just go for Nikolaus while we wait for this uh, this iron to finish. We'll make a very quick run at Nikolaus to get our tier 2 study, which is going to give us access to that Amethyst Pendant and our Merciless Iron Mace. Hopefully, we just somehow pick up a fantastic RNG drop of a Merciless Iron Reaper. I think the Reaper is going to be your best bet heading for Solaris. Right? That's going to allow you to farm those ancient villages and get into your Dawnthorn Tier 3 armor very, very quickly. Unfortunately, we can't... I don't think you can Horse Lord Nikolaus. I think the sheer amount of... Maybe you can, actually. Maybe if you're Horse Lording, you can kill his skeletons very quickly. 
and then you just stop horse lording when he spins. Uh, we would also get the grave dust we need to get into our nine item level ring here. So overall, this is probably a good stopping point on our quest. All right, it's just good to be here, and this is probably the last time we'll have to be in tier one, unless we just need an incredible amount of greater blood essences, and then we would have to come back to kill Tristan, but I think that's mostly for siege golems. So that's more a multiplayer PVP aspect of the game. Fantastic run. We're looking at we're looking at two hours into iron, but we'll also have killed all our bosses, and we'll be well on our way up and into Hollow Fang. Just fantastic. I think we can improve this. I think we can shave off time in a lot of areas. We'll just have to look and take you know check it out and see what we can do better. But here we go. I love how this entire arena just gets destroyed over the course of this fight. Yeah, actually, I feel like horse lording this might actually be the play. You're just you're killing so many ads while you're on the horse. Oh, we're stuck. fight's always so laggy for me. My old computer can't take the frame loss. Oh no, he AoE'd the horse. That did immense damage to us. Oh, I thought I had the counter up. Oh, we're playing this terribly. I really got to kill these adds as well. These two mages are just, they're making the amount of skeletons here just way more and there's there's already so many for this fight. Behold. We should still be alright for this fight though. We're doing a really good job keeping the ads down. Madness. Madness and stupidity. There's so many ads. What is this? Oh my god, we might die here. I don't know. I don't know what we do here. Do we keep pursuing this and just play better? He's at half. We have a long way to go on this fight. A very, very long way to go here. I think one of his green bolts kills us. Our 100% blood is starting to get low as well. Maybe we have enough for a salve. We don't have enough for a salve. Do we, do we pick up rats and we craft salves mid-fight? I just need bones. Bones and we're to our salve. Hurry, salve quickly! I, I need you. I summon you. That's gonna be that's gonna be coming up on eight. Oh my god, the slowdown is unreal. No, I don't think we have time to. I don't think we have time to salve. I think we're stuck. Oh, this this fight is taking a very long time um, for sure if you're going for iron or cotton speedrun you do not kill this boss but if you're pushing further and you're going to Solaris I think you have to I don't see how you can kill Solaris without Ward of the Damned but um, I could be wrong of course all of this is up for debate right there's so many plays and interesting ideas that people can employ on these speedruns
What a fight. I feel like my concentration is absolutely laser focused right now. One of these green balls is very likely to kill us. Plus, we still have the crossbow man up, which we, we hate to see that. The crossbow guy is going to do immense damage to us if we just stand still for any length of time. Madness. Madness. He's going to summon stupidity. more skeletons. No way. There's got to be a limit to the amount of skeletons one could summon. All right, we're bringing him down, though. He's at about 20% right now. Here we go. He's at about five or eight percent here. I think we can take this. This is it. This is it. Yes, he's won. Okay, huge. All right, Nicholas, that's T2 study. I think by the time we get home, we have the iron weapon and then that will be the end for today. We'll put that on pause and we'll come back to gather the cotton and push forward. That's the Ember Chain as well. We love the Ember Chain. That's going to be a speed boost. That is our all-time absolute favorite. Did our horse die? Our 10-8 horse died as well. Um, we misplayed by bringing the horse all the way up here. Um, it seemed like horse lording was a really, really good strategy at the start of the fight, um, and then it turned sour <laughs> very quickly. But uh, losing that horse is actually big, so we're actually going to lose uh, probably a good two minutes just running back to the base. And then depending on the speed of the next horse, that's going to literally affect the entirety of the speed run heading for Solaris. You would want to keep a 10-8 horse forever, right? That is your forever horse dying. Well, especially over the course of the entirety of the game, especially because we're going to be horse lording a lot of bosses like Leandra and Terra and Styx and the Toad. And I don't know if you can horse lord the werewolf, but... There's just so many bosses that you would want to be horse lording. So losing that horse is actually a, a massive drawdown. That definitely hurt us. We should have left that down there. Uh, I just forgot the sheer amount of AOE damage that happens up that fight is incredible. We're also going to need... Actually, we're good on copper, right? We're good on copper. We have enough copper for Looks six like or I seven looms. So I think we're in a very, very good spot now. All we need is a horse... We're getting the iron weapon, and then tomorrow we're going straight for cotton. We're getting the looms going, and then we would probably horse lord the Leandra while we waited for the cotton to finish. Leandra is very easy. You can definitely no-hit that, similar to how we no-hit F-Bear. Thank you for the follows, the likes, and the love, everybody. This is kind of crazy. This is PvE. Honestly, we might, <laughs> we might pause this run and resume another day rather than tomorrow because I can only go so many days without PvP. I really got to get some PvP in. I feel like I love the chaos of it, the craziness. It's insane what other players do. There's a 10-5 horse. So talk about incredible. Our first horse a 10-8, our second horse a 10-5. We actually got very, very lucky on this run all the way across the board with so many things that dropped and so many recipes that we picked up. Of course, the horse speeds. Picking up a lot of bosses by themselves and never running into bosses that had the uh, ability to kill us while we were farming or while we were doing other things like fighting Beatrice. All right, let's see. Is this our iron weapon? Oh my god, are we hard stuck? I thought it was 12 sulfur, it's 16! We are hard stuck by sulfur. GG, no re. We gotta pick up, like... What do we need? We need 22 sulfur. No, wait, wait, how much is it? It's 16, that's 60, we have 18. We need 42 sulfur. Let's just take a very fast look up here, and we'll run these nodes, and we'll see if there some sulfur nodes didn't spawn right here on the road because I would love to end with the iron weapon. Unfortunately, oh, there's sulfur. That is so lucky. 
<laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. What do we need? 42? I think we get that from one node. Yes, we do. Alright, so that's the sulfur. That's the iron weapon. That is an iron weapon probably within two hours, which isn't the fastest, but the fact that we have so many mats and so many furnaces means we're going to be getting into uh, our merciless hollow fang set very, very quickly. Pull that. Place this. Chop it in half. Chop it in half again. Chop this in half. This is weird. These are weird halves. Yeah, in a minute and a half, we'll have that. Let's just double check. Uh, also, we're going to go ahead and eat some... Um, let's see. Is there any deer around here? we got to eat a deer or a wolf to give ourselves some blood. What a run. I feel like I was sweating a little bit this run. My mouth is dry despite... Oh, no, I killed the deer. My mouth is dry despite the fact that we've only been streaming for two hours. Like, it normally goes six or seven hours. So, just a lot of energy in the stream. My brain was working overtime trying to figure out shortcuts. Some more sulfur, uh, sulfur over there as well. So, we would have been in a good spot. We definitely would have found that. Let's see. We're going to get the sulfur in one minute. How long does it take to craft an iron weapon? Hopefully, one minute. I would love to get iron <laughs> in under two hours and call this a video. Um, obviously, we went out of our way here to kill Nikolaus, right? We would not have killed Nikolaus if we were only rushing to iron. Uh, that's 13. Coming up in 30 seconds. I don't think there's a way to see what we need. Well, you know what? The smithing is going to be instant. Let's move this lockbox as well just a little bit. Just to make sure we have room to put it down. I think we would need planks. We would need iron ingots. I hope we don't need reinforced planks. I, I really do, but we might. Oh, uh, we would have to unlock that recipe as well, so we would probably have to kill someone else. Hopefully we don't need those. Um, we would obviously be picking those up in a lot of weird places as well. There was sulfur in the box. That's unfortunate. Here we go. Sulfur and sulfur and smithy is built. And the iron weapon is on the way. We're going for the iron slashers for sure. No, 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 cancel. The, uh, ooh, the iron reaper, did we make it? That's going to make it. 60 seconds. That's two hours iron. Let's go. We've also got 10 furnaces. We're going to be churning out iron ingots, getting into hollow fang in the next Madness. probably 30 Madness minutes. And, and we're going to have so much iron from the mine. We're going to go do one more iron run. That we're going to have probably two or three iron weapons and some merciless iron weapons. A merciless iron set. This is a three hour level 60 run. We would have Octavian dead and be on our way to tier three Dawnthorn in three hours. I think a four hour Solaris the Immaculate is possible. If we shave off some seconds, Madness. RNG blesses Madness us with and love and respect. Thank you all for coming out. The stream is getting ready to come down. I appreciate and love you all. This has been a two hour run into iron and hopefully a four hour run into Solaris the next time I see you. This is magnificent. Hello, YouTube. Let's go. That is two hours. Popping out here. One hour, 59 minutes and 44 seconds. We killed Nikolaus. We did a lot of things to prepare for Solaris that we wouldn't have had to do if we were just going for iron. I think that's very fast time. Of course, when you throw a PVP into the mix, it's going to change it all up. Of course, we don't need 10 furnaces. We could have killed Quincy sooner. We could have done so many different things. It's hard to analyze and figure out what's fastest, but I love it. I feel good about it, and I definitely think we would be in a full set of Hollow Fang in the next 30 or 40 minutes, and probably if we make one more run to Iron Mine, we would be in merciless Hollow Fang within an hour, going up to level 60, and we would have the merciless Iron Mace popping out to smash some skulls and harvest some souls. Thank you all for coming out and hanging out with us on this crazy speed run. I will see you next time. Please follow, like, and love. Drop the constructive criticism and the compliments in the comment section, and I'll catch you for the next V Rising Madness. video Madness and, and stream. Stupidity.